close the show, what are the top three aspects that you look out for uh, for those you'd want to fish to your headhunter's net? Point one, passion. Mm -hmm. When we are recruiting young men and young women, typically by the time you come to the interview mm -hmm. and by the time you get shortlisted for a position, you are probably smart, mm -hmm. yeah? And you're competing against other smart people. But I look for passion and willingness to learn. The second point I want to say is be prepared to, to work hard. I may have mentioned this before, but I want to mention it again. <laughs> City is a meritocracy, mm -hmm. yeah? doesn't matter Laban, who your last what your last name is mm -hmm. where you've come from or where you've been once you are in the firm what is ahead of you is determined by meritocracy by hard work by leveraging your contacts by bringing your a game every day number three um and i want to sort of talk to more the leadership side of things yeah leadership is an evolving art yeah because certain strengths get you to a certain point but I think the higher order leadership is more about being empathetic. It stops being about the strengths of Martin as an individual and it becomes about the folks that you're leading. How impactful are you as a leader? How do they view you? How do they trust you? For, for us to really strive, those in positions of leadership, to be more empathetic, especially given the challenges we have, where we've come from with COVID, that has changed a lot of things and how we expect to succeed in the future, right? That element of being empathetic, mm -hmm. leading by personality, leading by what you stand for, that to me is more powerful. I know you're all asking for this question, but I'll throw it back to you. Just lastly, as you put it up in these uh, sentences, it's uh, what keeps you awake at night and what next for Martin? Wow, what keeps me up at night? <laughs> you know, love enough. I've had a journey that has been very fulfilling, mm -hmm. yeah? And when I, when I think about what keeps me up, I have learned to understand that business or material success is not everything, mm -hmm. yeah? To me, my anchor is my family. Mm -hmm. My yeah. anchor is my family. Yeah. What keeps me up at night is if my family is not in a good place. Yes. I have two children, I call mm -hmm. them two lovely investments. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a wife who is the real boss. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Those are the people that, that I worry about. Yeah. I can lose sleep over mm -hmm. my family. Wow. But I don't tend to lose sleep about the business because yes. the business will be there. Yeah. Yes. It's never that serious. Yeah. You can always figure it out. Sure. But your family, you can't, yeah. you can't figure it out. You have to get that right. Mm -hmm. So what keeps me up is really the the well-being of my family. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. that's the only thing that I really stress about. Yeah. Everything else, it's never that serious. <laughs> you will <laughs> sort it out.